Hello, everybody. It's Dave Neal, stand-up comic and host of Bachelor Nation News, coming to you with a Bachelor recap, a guy's review, week three of Joey's season. It's absolutely wild. It's going to lead up to this two-on-one date I guess we'll get next week, Sydney versus Maria. We'll get into that whole story, but we're going to follow this thing chronologically. Follow me on Instagram, at dneals. If you want stand-up show updates and other workings in my world, I'll be there on Instagram. And every morning and afternoon, you get Bachelor Rush Hour, the hit podcast that gives you all the entertainment news in one place. I'll be live at noon central time today with what might be one of my final updates regarding the Jane Doe paternity case. If you haven't been following it, I'm being sued for harassment. Our court case is Thursday and I'm supposed to go take a flight in five hours. Will I board that flight? We'll have to see. Join me at noon central time, patreon.com slash Dave Neal. So I take notes. I read them back to you. And no jump cuts, no edits, just me and you guys. Let's get into it. So Joey is looking for Mrs. Wright, and it's too bad they only cast Mrs. Wrongs. Miss Wright doesn't submit for a dating reality show. She's got, you know, taken up by a finance bro in a sky rise. I'm sorry, Miss Wright is not here. The Askin ladies arrive. We have right here April, Susan, Kathy, and Nancy. Now we now know that, um, I believe April, is she the one that's not in the group anymore? Either way, she's she's out. They kicked her out, so it's sucking, sucking the sucking ladies. Uh, the group is excited that uh, it isn't anyone there to compete for Joey, but I don't know. These ladies are on the prowl. Maybe they are competing for Joey. I say give Kathy a shot in the kissing booth. Let it happen. Live a little. Uh, don't don't discriminate. Uh, uh, procrastinate. Uh, I don't know. The women have an hour to rehearse and find a talent, and it's like, look, sorry, you had your whole life to find a talent that didn't work now you're on a reality show sydney i'm coming hard for you today ladies sydney says she was in the miss massachusetts teen when she was 16 could you imagine the speech you would give in miss massachusetts teen dude kid for a miss mass hall talent i'll be drinking a dunkachino while banging a beer you know wait well be well be let me try that again Hey, dude, kid, for Miss Massel, my talent is drinking a Dunkachino while be a bong in a Sam Summer. Okay, there we go. I can't, I'm from New England. I can't even do an accent. Of course, I wrote it phonetically and I'm like, I don't even know what I said here. All right, Jesse crushes, crushes it as the host of the uh, Miss uh, Right. He also, he crushes everything. He's doing so good out there. Uh, but now we've got uh, the uh, uh, the Sunday chill portion of the date. They do, they, 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 they the, the show can't get away with like a lingerie portion of the day now look i'm not i'm not saying i even disagree with this but the show has no problem showing joey shirtless but god forbid they do a little you know swimsuit wear portion of the pageant i understand i get it they they gone are those days but they used to objectify the hell out of both sides okay equal opportunity objectifying is what i'm all here for all right um we have maria answering questions from the ladies how to spice things up after 30 years if things aren't working quite quite the same. And Joey says, not a problem. And it's like, Joey, that's the point. Not a problem. Now come at me when you're 58 and you're bored. You know what I mean? You got to get on that testosterone and get back into working out in the gym. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm just saying things can get stale. Uh, okay. So Maria says, I won't let it get stale. I'll give you some of this, uh, you know, Canadian, uh, passion that she's so known for. So Sydney says she's faked it. Do we have Sydney? There's Sydney. So when asked about it, she says, yeah, I faked it before. And of course, everyone's saying, well, yeah, that's what got you on the TV show. You're playing the victim. You're faking outrage. You don't really care. Um, talent show, we have Edwina. She wrote a song for Joey. It's slightly off key, but still cute. Joey said she sounded amazing. So now we see Joey's also good at faking it. Let's be honest. She didn't sound good. But here's the deal. We saw Maria does a standing cartwheel. Then we have Sydney doing a cheer. L-O-V-E. Joey is the one for me. The producers tanked this version. They cut out the audio. There's no way the audience wasn't cheering for that. Now, do I think Sydney's a standout cast member on the show? No. She's a pawn for the producers. She's a, uh, you know, she's playing their game, but by all means, they edit it to make it look like crickets. But if they, if they cheered for Edwina, they're cheering for this slop. You know what I mean? Uh, let's not, no one's going to piss on my leg and tell me it's raining. So Lexi's got her talent. She's the world's best kisser. 
There it is. And I got to tell you what, she kind of delivered. She got the hands involved. Whenever the ladies get the hands into the lower back of the head, you like they control you from now on. You are the puppet. You know, like in a normal puppet, you shove your, you kind of like go up the, the, the underside of the puppet. But here she's got Joey by the back of the head and she's like, you will do as I say. And then she just pushes him down and he goes down on her. I don't know. Maybe that's what happened next. I didn't see. Um, they play some music. She goes to suck town on his face. The other women look horrified. The golden ladies are loving it. They're like, I haven't felt this way since the war. You know? <laughs> Joey's talent, which he just found out for the first time is getting a hard on in front of the golden ladies. He's like, well, we can't hide it now. Uh, there's your, there's my little tennis pro for you. Uh, I got a racket. All right. Lexi wins Miss Wright. Sydney's like, oh, the intimate talent is what won? I could have given a hand job. She, she didn't say that, but she's like, well, we could have gone behind the bleachers and pretended we were in high school. But either way, they didn't, and Lexi got, and, and Joey's like, she didn't win because of the kiss. It's like, okay, Joey, sure. Maria tells Joey she would have liked to know that the kissing would have worked. She felt dumb doing her talent, and Joey says it wasn't about the kissing. And uh, yeah, of course not. No, no, no. The kissing had nothing to do with it. Maria tells Joey, hey, but you can't, hey, you know, Maria can't be upset. I mean, she pulled her shenanigans. Now Lexi pulled hers. It's an arms race. It's, well, it's more of a lips race, really. Uh, it's a goddamn lips race. Uh, Maria tells Joey, okay, Maria tells Joey she's an introvert. And look, I'm not surprised. We have the wrong idea of introverts, right? Introverts don't mean you're shy. It means you get your energy by being alone. Extroverts can get their energy by being with other people. I think most people exist as am amniverts, right? Somewhere in between. Like I personally can get energy by being around the right kind of people, but they could also suck my energy. We call those an energy vampire. I can also get energy by being alone. The best way I get my energy is if you join the Patreon at Patreon com slash Dave Neal. Is that an introvert? Either I'm a Patreon vert. So over there, if you want to give me some energy, you can go do that. Uh, Marlena says she felt bullied over the age thing. Is that her name? Marlena? Do I have this right? Um, it's like, she's 31. Come on. What are we talking about? Kelsey A gets the group date Rose. I don't even know if I have a graphic of Kelsey A. Um, where's Kelsey? I, no, I don't have Kelsey. We skipped that one. Um, she says he wants to, uh, Joey says he wants to rise above the drama in the house. Says hearing about a bully scares him. And then the camera cuts to Maria and she, Maria's like, you guys talking about me? Am I the, bu I'm the bully. I'm the one you're talking about. And in the audience, we all said the same thing. Maria's the bully. Are you kidding me right now? Maria has been nothing, nothing but a outstanding citizen here. Maria says, you called me a bully. Sydney says she also felt bullied it as well and everyone's like shut up Sydney so Sydney makes it about her like 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 a good white woman does I'm bullied Maria says give me one example just one and I was like Maria how dare you look for evidence this isn't an evidence-based tribunal we go on feelings alone over here Maria says she has been bullied her whole life she's no bully now it's hard yeah it's hard to say I'm not the wrong one here but you know if I were Maria I'd be like you know what let the audience watch the tape. You know what I mean? Because I think quickly the audience can go, oh yeah, no, no, no. We are Team Maria. Um, Sydney calls Maria caddy. Maria calls Sydney a troublemaker. It goes back and forth. Maria asks for evidence. Sydney says she stays true to herself. When someone doesn't have evidence, they say they stay true to themselves. Hey, just give me one example of what I did wrong. I'm just being true to me and i believe that me thinks you're the bully you know uh sydney walks away from the situation maria says i feel so weird about you yeah maria's like i don't even know what's going on but you're weird you're a you're a weird one jen gets a one-on-one -on -one. we have jen over here she's schmooching on the 101 they blur out the logo why give credit to the surfboard someone designed that surfboard let them know you appreciate them so they're out there swimming in the open waters not a fan of that um i've been swimming in these waters there's dolphins all over the place which means you know you got to think maybe there's a shark or two no thank you uh, great surfing, smooching, make out in the waves, not a bad date. Ocean is the best energy, but getting a wetsuit off when things get frisky, that takes skill. You know, you're pulling that strap in the back, get a, a board, well, you know, scissors, just give me the thing. They do the first ever drone light show in lieu of fireworks. This would be a smart idea from The Bachelor if they just bought this drone show so they could use it on every season. Um, my guess is they didn't do that. They hired a company that does these things. It was pretty well done. I mean, each one of these is its own flying drone that's really cool it looks like the that one's awful no i mean t i mean talk about perfect i mean this is in this crazy 
technology out there that they can just draw stuff in the sky. Um, uh, I, I want to get the drones that say, join my Patreon, patreon.com slash Dave Neal. That would be fun. Use of drone. Uh, can you imagine how annoying it would be to live under these things? And it's like one thing to hear fireworks like going off. It's another just to hear, bzzz, you know, like, all right, I guess the bachelor people got their dronies out. Um, all right. So the second group date arrives to the tennis court. Let's see if we have a graphic. There it is. They're on a tennis court. Which, by the way, is this turf? Are they on grass? I don't know what, I don't know where they are. Maybe they're in, they kind of look like they're in Malibu somewhere. They've got some famous tennis folks who take the gig because what else do you do when you retire? Jesse crash, crashes the warm up and announces some head to head competition. The ladies pair off into hilarious costumes. Yosef would not be happy that they're dressed as lobsters. Lobster and butter wins. Um, I mean, you had the wieners. The babies were really great. They, they hey, you got to give them credit. They all did a good job representing their uh, respective niches. I guess these are respective. Um, Caitlin, and in justice, justice for lobster and butter. I mean, you know, who would have thought? Where do you find these? Co- I mean, did they just go to Party City and see what they had left? I mean, you got lo- you got uh, lobster, and then the butter is just. It's, I mean, it's great and all, but it's like, would you think this is butter? It looks to me like it's a chef graduating from college. That's what that looks like to me. But it's a stick of butter. Uh, Caitlin tells Joey about her family curse. Do we have an image of that? Maybe not. Um, let's see here. Uh, the curse is that all the ladies are single. And it's like, oh, boy, Joey, run. You don't want that many. You, don't, you know, you need to balance your energies. That's too much feminine energy in one place. Joey wants to reverse the curse, he says. Rachel, the ICU nurse, gets stuck to Joey's sweater. She says Joey has qualities that remind to her of her father. And then, of course, and it's like, by the way, she, you know, sweet moment, but she could have used this moment stuck to his sweater to maybe make out with him. If you're going to be stuck to somebody, you might as well make out to them. Daisy asks Joey if he wants to touch it, it being her cochlear implant. Caitlin gets the group days right. Meanwhile, Sydney says she's not going to let the mean girl win. She's the problem, and it's going to be addressed to Joey, which, of course, by the way, Joey's like, okay, so they do the, we'll get into this in a second. But of course, you know, they tease this, I'm going to confront it to Joey. So we know, we know Sydney's, you know, her lifespan is virtually, she's virtually done. She's, she got the most she could out of this situation. Why in the hell she had decided to be the villain is beyond me. I don't believe she's a bad person. I just believe she decided she would play the part. If we were just watching a random TV show, we would be like, oh, that person sucks. But her identity is now attached to this, which again, I don't believe she's bad. I just believe she's the useful idiot that they convinced to play the part. Jesse announces a pool party with KFC. The mac and cheese and biscuits look good. This might be the best sponsored date I've ever seen. Sydney says she just wants peace. She says, what else do you want from me? And it's like, I don't know, uh, to not be ridiculous, Sydney. Um, and again, the pool party has a whole bunch of... I mean, look, Sydney's a beautiful person. She's, she's gorgeous. She doesn't need to play the villain. She could have just, you know, been herself. Naturally beautiful, great eyebrows, freckles, blue eyes, all that. You know, I mean, I don't know. I mean, again, I don't know. I don't think she needs, but we see this every year. Every year we see somebody will sort of, you know, be the one who, you know, Aaron gets mad at Thomas or, or, uh, or the other Aaron gets mad at Brayden. You know, you just see this. And it's like, that's not going to lead you closer to the prize, honey. So she confronts Joey, says Maria started attacking her. I became Maria's target. She verbally attacked me. I couldn't be in that hostile environment. She does all these, you know, terms that are used to conjure up these feelings, but doesn't have too much substance behind it. Sydney says there was no other choice. Says Maria is scrounging to find something to make her look bad. Projection. Then Joey speaks with Maria. Our lovely Maria. Let's see if we have a photo of Joey speaking to Maria. We'll see if we can find one here. Joey speaks to Maria. We absolutely love. Here it is. Let's download this right here. We're doing it on the fly, folks. So here's Joey speaking to Maria. And she's like, what are you talking about? She's like, I'm not. By the way, yeah, she's holding on tight here. Um, She says, uh, I've been bullied. And this isn't it. Maria says, I'm not being received as good as I thought I'd be here. Uh, which is really sad because you can see Maria going like, I thought I was going to be liked. Maria says, if you like her, there's no way you can like me because we're different people. Sydney gives you accusations without explaining, which is, by the way, the perfect response by Maria. Sydney accuses Maria of manipulation and Maria looks absolutely shocked. Doesn't she? She's like, are you kidding me right now? I'm the bad guy. 
And of course, Joey's not going to believe it, in my opinion. And he's going to kick Sydney off. That's what I think is going to happen. We'll see how that all plays out next week. I'll be live on Patreon at noon central time. If you want to join me today for our behind the scenes live stream, if you want all the extra content, I encourage you join. Hey, we were featured in time magazine. Find out why we got a good podcast. we got a fun thing happening. I don't think there's any other podcast that's doing what we're doing, which is twice a day. When the tide goes out, we make a podcast. When the tide comes in, we make another one. Your rush hour ride to work, your rush hour ride back. Maybe you work from home and you just have a, that long potty break you need to take or you got to go mow the lawn or whatever metaphor you need to get you to download go get it bachelor rush hour and we'll be back right after this